Thank you. Speaking of development, residents living along Greens Prairie Road and College Station say the construction there in that area is not only an inconvenience, but they're saying it is a safety concern. They say raised medians are forcing some drivers to make dangerous U-turns just to get home. News 3's Donnie Tuggle is working to get answers tonight. It's new at 10. For residents like Laura Sanders, who live along Greens Prairie Road and White's Creek Lane in College Station, getting in and out of their driveway has been a struggle. We feel inconvenienced and we feel like it's an unsafe um, situation. They say ever since the city installed raised medians, they're forced to drive over them or make dangerous U-turns just to get home. And this summer they've decided to shut down the whole side of the road next to our home, meaning that if you're coming from Welburn Road, you cannot get into my house. They say besides worrying if their mail will get delivered or trash will get picked up, they're concerned about their safety. I think my main concern is going to be if we have a fire or any emergency. An emergency vehicle probably couldn't make the turn. After suffering a medical emergency two weeks ago, that concern became a reality for Jenny Hobson. And my husband, who is disabled, he cannot drive. Um, he told me, let's call the ambulance. The USPS cannot find me. I don't know if the ambulance is going to find me. We took those concerns to the city, who told us they are aware of the situation and have been in contact with residents in the area. They went on to say that the traffic control meets typical design standards and have coordinated with engineers to add more traffic control devices. Whether that will be enough for residents remains to be seen. We need to open up this road uh, on the side of our road so that we can have a passageway through. It's not, it's not a complete answer, but at least it is a little bit safer for us. In College Station, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. The city also told us temporary traffic shifts allow that portion of the road to be reconstructed in coordination with the school's summer schedule. They also say the fire department, solid waste and post office employees have all been made aware of the work in the, uh, that area. Still ahead, the United Way.